This athlete set five world records and won three medals in the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles. She's considered to be one of the greatest swimmers of all time. Since she's from Nashville, we were able to uncover several locations that gave us the story behind her success. In the world of swimming, most know the name Tracy Hawkins. She's well known because she was competitive in all four major swimming strokes. She is the only swimmer to have set American records in all five strokes. Finding the site for competitive training in Nashville gave us the proper perspective of Tracy's accomplishments. The training facility bears her name. We met John Morse, who swam on a team with Tracy and very quickly over a three-year period became the, uh, the, the best swimmer in the world at the 1978 World Championships. She was the, uh, the total package as an athlete, uh, exceptionally talented. What made her unique, I think, uh, in the sport of swimming and um, the reason that she's considered perhaps the greatest swimmer of all time was her versatility. She could swim any stroke, any distance, and compete with the very best in the world. As a result of Tracy's success, Nashville became a focal point in the swimming world, and the training facility became one of the premier facilities in the country. Thomas and Martha Calkins are Tracy's parents. They knew that Tracy had a talent for swimming when she was young. At about age 10 or 11, we realized that she would be able to compete uh, on a high level. Now, how high, we weren't sure, uh, but she was the best 11-year-old in the United States, and she held national age group records from age 10 on up. We didn't know that she would be able to compete successfully on the world level. Then, with the combined efforts from a group of parents who supported swimming in Tennessee, Tracy received the training that she needed to really perfect her skill. Tracy was fortunate to have had three or four of the best swim coaches in the world. And again, that was because of the commitment of the parents group who were willing to pay to have the best coaches we could, we could afford. And, and the best swim coaches in the world aren't cheap and Tracy's character qualities added to her talent, giving her the right formula for success. High pain okay. threshold. High pain threshold. Ability to focus. Even though Tracy loved the sport, practices weren't easy. And I think she was, what, 10 when she started two-a-day two practices, probably. probably? When they swam outdoors in the winter at Maryland Farms, and the water was cold, particularly with the skinny kids. And they would run to build up deep body heat before they swim. And then there was the part of training that meant she had to put on weight. And that eating was a problem in that her coach at the time, Paul Bergen, said she had to weigh 122 pounds in order to go to the world championships. Well, she didn't weigh 122 pounds with her pockets full of rocks. So every night, about 8 o'clock, she and I went to Baskin Robbins, and she ate a pint of chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. And I had an ice cream cone, and I gained 10 pounds, she didn't gain any. <laughs> As Tracy entered college, there was a change in her specialty. And Tracy started out as a breaststroker I am her. But when she went to college, they had breaststrokers, and they did not need her to swim breaststroke. So she did not train breaststroke. And that was fine because she could swim butterfly, backstroke, and freestyle, and it all helped her individual medley. Patty Chadwell, former director of athletics at Harpeth Hall Academy, attended every competition that Tracy entered, including the Olympics in 1984. It was really a wonderful moment for me and it was, it was a real exciting thing to see Tracy, whom I did know so well. Tracy recollects the Olympics. Well, I think standing on the Olympic um, platform receiving your medal, it, I mean, it is a very hard feeling to describe, 
but it's like having all your Christmases at once. And really, truly for me, it was like a dream come true. During the 1984 Olympics, Tracy won three Olympic gold medals, two in individual events. She has since been honored as one of the 100 greatest living Olympians and is a member of five halls of fame, including the Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. And now that you know the name Tracy Hawkins, you also know that she is perhaps the greatest swimmer in the world. And she's from Tennessee. You can get all the fascinating stories of Tennessee treasures in a magazine. With colorful pages and unique photos, you'll experience the treasures of the state in print. Packed with trivia and extra information, you'll discover the little-known facts about Tennessee's history, arts, entertainment, sports, general trivia, and geography. Order your subscription by visiting TennesseeTreasures.net. Just $18 plus shipping and handling.